To your country in search of a lost scroll that contains directions to a hidden village comprised of gold. I looked at her confused and said, but why have you told me this? She said the description that I fit was that of the chosen one. Who would go beyond and slip a concoction in my drink that immediately sent my consciousness adrift. Hovering towards me, plus garlic for the keepers of the gate who brought all of its secrets and take care of trespasses. But alas, it's prophesied I would gain access to a cultural dynasty buried in season. Capture this scroll. Massive helicopters patrol the rooftop. Strapped in, begin traveling into the darkness. Knew not of what awaited. I thought of a way to get out of it. Just then the bottom gave way. I began falling, gave it ten seconds. Pulled the cord on my parachute. Landed surrounded by a herd of wild barracudas. Lines, the sound of the wild kingdom piercing like a siren. Was I entering near the mortal lifespan? Sin defiantly, I stood boldly. As it began closing and time seemed to be moving rapidly just then Whole house free! Just then I pulled the sword and somehow It affected all the creatures as they stepped back and bowed In the same glow that I seen in the sword I seen in the eyes of the lion who began leading me in specific directions Trying to tell me something Just over the horizon The same creatures who had been described Appeared in statue form But their eyes scoped And as I approached the gate They began to break open And cried after years We had finally been awakened The assault was on I got knocked to the ground by one Shocked in an unorthodox form Boxing Throwing an abnormal proportion Of body blows Karate chops and drop kicks Plunged struggling deep within the swamp Then I grabbed my sword The garlic put it around my neck Saw that it was draining all of their energy And then with a swing off With their heads The gate slowly and mysteriously opened Curiously I moseyed in with Intensity focusing on my object. Spider webs the size of king size beds fell in a secret passage, not knowing to where it led. Just then, the same light beamed brightly, and in the distance, at that instant, lo and behold, the hidden scroll. And just as I thought my mission was over, I could feel the dragon queen breathing heavily over my shoulder. She began to transform and metamorphosize. She took on an assortment of legs, arms, heads, and eyes, and sprouted two horns, and then began to breathe fire. So once again, I grabbed my trusty sword, but to my astonishment, she burned it to a crisp, turned to grasp the scroll, and as it went faster than she could gasp, it clasped a flash full of flames, casting in my direction. I saw my whole life flash on the possibility of death, and the cast it cast fast into the ground, pound for pound, astounded. Now, how could I survive and last another round in this madness? It's
The question of community is not a question of geography. It is a question of color. It is a question of color. If you live in Watts, if you live in Harlem, Southside Chicago, Detroit, West Philadelphia, Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, wherever you go, the first place you go is to your people. That is to say that we break down the concept that black people living inside the United States are black Americans. That's nonsense. We got brothers in Africa, we got brothers in Cuba, we got brothers in Brazil, we got brothers in Latin America, we got brothers all over the world, all over the world, all over the world. 